In a world where technology and biology intertwine, Elon Musk has made a groundbreaking announcement. The successful installation of the first Neuralink brain interface in a human. This coin-sized chip, a brain-computer interface, is the latest marvel from Musk's trailblazing tech empire, promising to revolutionize our understanding of the human mind. At the heart of Neuralink's mission is the audacious goal to cure neurological conditions, augment human cognition, and even enable symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Imagine the possibilities. Could we be on the brink of becoming cyborgs? Would you consider getting a brain-computer interface installed in your brain? As we journey through this video, we'll be unraveling the intricacies of this cutting-edge technology, from the implantation process to the first human trials, from the FDA approval to the future possibilities. And of course, we'll also be addressing the ethical considerations and criticisms. So buckle up as we delve into this mind-bending journey. And please subscribe to this channel for the latest science and technology updates. It's free. The Neuralink isn't just a concept anymore, it's a reality. But how does it work? Let's unravel the intricacy of this breakthrough technology. Picture a coin-sized chip no larger than your average button with the power to revolutionize the human mind. It's hard to imagine, isn't it? But that's precisely what Elon Musk's Neuralink is all about. The implantation process is a marvel of precision and innovation. Imagine a robotic surgeon guided by advanced imaging technologies, making a small incision in the scalp. A piece of the skull, about eight millimeters in diameter, is then carefully removed to make way for the Neuralink chip. This chip is then delicately inserted into the hole and the scalp is stitched back together. The entire procedure is designed to be as minimally invasive as possible. And it's not just a pie in the sky. The Neuralink has already undergone successful trials on our furry friends. From mice to pigs to monkeys, the technology has been tested and retested with promising results. The animals were able to move objects on a computer screen using only their minds. Now, the leap has been made into human trials, a monumental step forward in this mind-bending technology journey. The potential impact is colossal, especially for paralyzed patients. Imagine regaining the ability to do things we often take for granted, like sending a text message, playing a video game, or even just switching the lights on and off. All of this using nothing but the power of thought. But it's not just about restoring lost abilities. Neuralink aims to go beyond that. The technology could give us the ability to communicate directly with computers or to control an exoskeleton with our brains. We are literally on the brink of becoming part human, part machine. This is just the beginning of a new era in medical technology. The Neuralink isn't just a chip. It's a beacon of hope for those who thought they'd lost control of their lives. It's a promise of a future where limitations are a thing of the past. And it's a testament to the incredible power of human ingenuity. With the green light from FDA, Neuralink is ready to step into the spotlight. But who's the first human recipient? The Food and Drug Administration's approval for clinical trials is a significant milestone in the Neuralink journey. This approval, however, comes with strict guidelines and criteria for patient selection. Candidates for this revolutionary procedure must be adults with severe paralysis due to spinal cord injury, and they must have exhausted all other treatment options. This rigorous selection process ensures that the benefits outweigh the risks, a cornerstone of any clinical trial. But Neuralink has kept the identity of the first human recipient under wraps, sparking intrigue and speculation. Could it be a renowned scientist, eager to push the limits of human cognition, or perhaps a paralyzed athlete, longing to regain their physical prowess? Regardless of who this mystery patient might be, the secrecy surrounding their identity raises ethical questions. Should the public know who is at the forefront of this groundbreaking technology? Or does the patient have a right to privacy, given the potential for public scrutiny and media frenzy? These are complex issues and there's no one-size-fits-all answer. Some argue that transparency is vital for public trust, while others caution against turning medical trials into a spectacle. As we grapple with these questions, Neuralink continues to push the boundaries of what's possible. The journey towards a future where humans and computers merge is well and truly underway. But as with any uncharted territory, it's filled with both promise and uncertainty. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a fascinating ride. Imagine a world where your brain can communicate wirelessly with a chip. 
That world is here. Neuralink, Elon Musk's ambitious venture, is spearheading this revolution. The technology hinges on a tiny chip no larger than a coin, seamlessly communicating with your brain. This wireless connection between your neurons and a computer is no longer a sci-fi dream, but a reality that's unfolding as we speak. Picture this. A coin-sized chip sits snugly inside your skull, exchanging information with your brain at lightning speed. It's like having a personal assistant, but inside your head, working tirelessly to make your life better. It's mind-boggling to think about, isn't it? But how does this communication work? It's all about electrical signals. Our brains are teeming with neurons that communicate using these signals. Neuralink's chip is designed to pick up these signals, interpret them, and then respond, creating a two-way street of communication. It's like learning a new language, but instead of words and phrases, you're using electrical signals. Now let's consider the future possibilities of such a technological marvel. Imagine being able to upgrade your cognitive abilities. Want to learn a new language? Download it. Want to play a musical instrument? Install the skill. The lines between reality and science fiction blur as we venture into these uncharted territories. But it doesn't stop there. Think about communicating through thoughts. No need for words. No need for sign language, just pure, unfiltered thought transferred from one brain to another. It's a concept that might seem far-fetched, but with Neuralink, it's a future we could be moving towards. The potential applications are limitless, from helping paralyzed individuals regain control of their bodies to potentially enhancing human cognition. The possibilities are as vast as our imagination. The future is here, and it's more exciting than we could have ever imagined. Every coin has two sides, and Neuralink is no exception. The astounding breakthroughs of this technology do not come without their fair share of criticisms and concerns. Animal testing, a crucial stepping stone to human trials, has stirred up an ethical discourse. While some laud the scientific progress, others question the morality of such experiments. The intersection of technology, ethics, and the human experience has become a hotbed for debate. As we marvel at the scientific achievements, we must also question the ethical implications. In the midst of all these advancements, what does the future hold for us? We've journeyed through the intricate process of Neuralink's implantation, the promising trials, and the ethical debates surrounding this innovation. The potential impact is enormous, paving the way for mind-bending advancements, brain-computer interfaces, upgraded cognitive abilities, communication through thoughts. So, what do you think? Would you embrace this technology? Join the conversation in the comments section and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on this groundbreaking journey into the future.